undergraduate at MIT. Uh, I, I did physics, uh, high energy physics. And then in graduate school, I went to University of California at Santa Barbara. And I was building, I was an experimental physicist. I was building uh, detectors and so on for you know, high energy beams and so on. Well, I'm now the chief technology officer for the College of Chemistry. Right. I live out in Martinez and uh, I have a wife and two daughters. I mean, a lot of people in there, they recruit uh, because the show is very popular among you know, alpha males and 20-something white males from the Midwest. <laughs> the show is very popular in the Midwest. It's not popular here at all. When the show was in its full-blown you know, going on, I walk around campus, nobody cares. Nobody. <laughs> but when I land in you know, Louisville, Kentucky, everybody screams out my name. It's like, <laughs> really? People really watch that much TV? Well, there's a whole subculture of these people who, who follow reality shows and so on. So I'm also a table tennis uh, player. Right, I had read that. Yeah, so uh, I, I used to coach the uh, table tennis team here. The production is trying to you know, encourage more people to, and uh, variety of people to apply. So very few older people apply, very few Asians apply. Right. right. So they call me up and say, hey, do you, have you heard of this show? And would you like to please apply? Wow. So that got me to applying. I didn't think I have a chance to get on, but then they got really interested for a very simple reason, because I, I grew up in Borneo. When I found out where we were going, right, Fiji is right on the same latitude as Borneo. Sure. So when I got there, the vegetation, the climate, I knew about it, right? Yeah, I haven't been back there, but I was familiar with the coconuts and know how to open coconuts. But you know, when it's 90 degrees out there and 90% humidity all day long, right? And when it rains, it's like buckets of water pouring. I mean, you put a bucket out there, five minutes, you filled it up. And that's how, and people got really scared. I mean, if, I don't even watch Survivor now. I mean, some, uh, like last couple of seasons, some of the girls were starting to cry. I mean, it's like they have never seen so much water before. No, it's, it's, it's very, very awful. I mean, knowing what I know now, if they say, hey, the price is 100000 I say, no, I don't want to do this. Right? Yeah. But for a million dollars, why not? Right? I, mean, I went in for the money. It's the million dollars. I mean, look, I mean, that's a lot of work, but understanding science is important, right? Uh, so the strategy is that when you're old guy and weak, right? I go in there, I go, oh my God, I am you know, the oldest guy in the, you know, how would I? A fair in this, I thought I would be the first to get booted out, right? Until I met Gary, who's like 50 pounds overweight and, and one year older than me. I said, oh, I'm the second guy who's going to get booted out. This. So the idea is that when you're in a tribal situation, right, is to make sure that you are not to be blamed for losing a challenge, right? So that's why I never took any leadership role, right? When you're in tribe, when they're discussing how to do challenge, I kept my mouth shut, right? Just like you don't want to be blamed, right? So we lost and I didn't get blamed because you just stay low. In addition, at the camp, I was chopping coconuts. I was, I was showing them because they don't know how to open the coconut and keep the water, right? I grew up in Borneo. I know how to do it, right? They were just whacking at it and you lose all the water, right? That's the only clean water we had to drink until we made fire, right? So I, I was showing them how to sharpen it, like a pencil sharpening, and then when you get to the tip, you just chop the tip off and you can drink the we, I was doing it for them, I was building fire, I was cooking for them. So I was like the provider, right? The old guy is not going to hurt you. Was not, so I was not blamed for anything. I know that as soon as we're in a single individual challenge, I could, I could do it, right? The javelins are not javelins, right? Because they cannot use real javelin, because if you are a high school or college athlete that throws javelin, you would have an advantage, right? It's one of these fishing spears, okay, which is not properly, there's no balance point, right? And so people were just throwing it and it was tumbling, right? And, and they were standing still to throw, which I understand why people do that. It's easy to aim. Fortunately, I was the second to the last guy to get on there. By the time I got on there, nobody's spear even made it to the target, right? They were tumbling, they were like going off. So I decided that who cares about aiming, right? All I need to do is get the spear in to the target. Anyway, I would win, right? So I back up about 50 feet and did a running start. Now, you cannot aim when you're doing a running start, right? And not only that, I find the balance point so that it gets it. So I did, and I, it stuck, right? Yeah. What happened is that this is not a game of strategy or anything. It's a, it's a social game. I didn't know that, right? Look at all the winners. You go past many years, more than half the winners were women. In fact, the last four seasons were won by women. These women, like the, the woman who won twice, Sandra, she didn't win a single challenge, right? It's making a connection, right? Making an alliance know when, know about each other, right? It's a short time we didn't have a chance, well, 
uh, if you are a good social people person, you get to know the other people, know you know whether you trust them and how far you can trust them. That's how you win. Right. I didn't know that. But this, I, I think, it's, it, it says something about our uh, you know academic environment that you know this is. I think a lot of people don't even have TV. Uh, you know, a lot of faculty members they don't even have TV, right? So, but that's not true of University of Kentucky, right? I mean, no, I mean, if you go to the dorms, to the, the crossroads uh, dining place, I mean, you look at the TV sets there, they are showing announcements and things like that, right? You go into University of Florida dining hall, every TV has a different show on. I mean, there's a lot more TV culture. We're not quite a TV culture. I think right. we have a lot more things, interesting things to do.